So recently I did a review on an Adria Twin that was in that lovely burnt orange and I thought that was the nicest looking van out there. But now I'm in two minds. What do we think to this? The Benimar Benny Van 120. It seemed white, but because it's got the black and yellow decals down the side and the black alloys on that white body, it makes it look pretty damn cool and sporty to be fair. I thought white was going out with motorhomes, but this looks pretty much spot on. So it does come very well specced. It comes with things like the awnings, the LED lighting. You've got the electric step that comes out at the bottom. Again, like I said, the alloy wheels, which make it look really, really good. And then on the rear, we do have these rear opening doors, which you can get your bikes and stuff like that, which I'll show you very shortly. But you've got a little reversing camera on the top as well, so you can just see what you're reversing into. So look at this for a great big rear wide open at the back. Like I said around the side, you've got the option to put your bikes in here. Just don't get the oil on the seats and everywhere like that. What I do quite like, a bit like some of the German motorhomes, is you have got good access to the boiler, so it is just dead straightforward. No hassle, no fiddling around or anything like that. And then you've got storage under these rear bench seats. So this does turn into a double bed. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it was going to be too small. I thought they've made a bit of a mistake with this. It's not going to be wide enough or long enough so you can fit. But watch this. So you do have to take these cushions off. And the backrest, because otherwise you're gonna, well, you're gonna be have to pe have to be peat size basically. But he could see sleep across the uh, the front and back seat. So here we go. Look, <laughs> that's plenty of room, and I'm nearly six foot, so that is plenty of room for most people who are going to be using it. And it is quite wide as well, so it's very much usable. So down this side, it looks just as nice. You've got the Dometic fridge vents, which are the winter covers as well. The Truma heating, cassette toilet. It does have the LPG gasset system and electric hookup. Now, this has got a 600 kilograms payload, which is absolutely spot on for taking those bikes in with you. It's got the LED lighting at the front, and it's even got the 150 brake horsepower upgraded engine. And my God, it does fly. And this has got something even better inside in the cab. And then in this cab, we do have the automatic gearbox. Like I said, now, I think it's around £3,000 extra from Benimar if you can get them. Because in, in 2021, you are struggling to get Fiat's with the automatic gearbox just because of supply and demand and so on. But they do come very well equipped. You've got Bluetooth and steering wheel controls. You've got cruise control. You've got the sat-nav, the Bluetooth, the digital DAB radio, USB ports, the whole lot. It's absolutely spot on in here. And that also doubles up as your reversing camera. Now, something else this does do is the driver and passenger seat swivel around and you can use this as a second optional la lounge for, uh, for eating and dining, just in case you don't want to make up that rear double bed. Okay, so now we're going towards the back. I will start with above the habitation door itself where we have got the Truma iNet ready heating system, control panel and so on. And now we've got the kitchen. Now, something I do struggle with in something like the Auto Trail Tribute is this galley is real narrow, but this has plenty of space, even for somebody slightly wide on the COVID diet like me. We do have an extendable table that comes out so that's more than enough space and it's great to be able to look out to the family when they sat outside under the awning when you do that bit of summer cooking we do have a sink with pop-up tap and then we've got a two ring hob just next to there it also does come up with the russell hobbs microwave and lots of storage drawers and so on and then we've also got a few more drawers just above. On the opposite side, we do have the Dometic fridge just below. And then we've got a wardrobe in that side. And that's where your table is also stored. Next, we'll go into the bathroom. In the bathroom itself, we do have the shower. We've got three nice spotlights just above, which are LED lights. We do have the cassette toilet. And then what I think is really clever, where the cabinet is with the mirror, we do have the fold-out sink. How clever is that? So it's out of the way. This is pretty big for a bathroom to be fair because on some of them, like the hobby vans and so on, they can be a little bit tight. And then as we saw earlier, we do have this rear lounge. There's plenty of space for four people. Now, when I was lying across these, I wasn't just being daft. This does fold out. And these backrests do become the, the filling cushions basically. So that is one nice big double bed. You do have the TV that does come round on this side and you've got LED lighting, lots of lockers within nice wood and white effect, basically. And that's what we've got. 
So what does this retail at now? It's probably around £50,000 because of the shortage of them. You can get the manual ones, but if you want auto, which is what everybody really wants, that's the sort of money you're going to be talking for something that's a year or two old. Please hit that like button at the bottom. Please subscribe. We shall see you soon. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please press subscribe at the bottom or like if you're on our Facebook and watch the latest news and motorhome reviews. Find out more information, you can go on our website, www.webuyanymotorcaravan.com. Telephone us on 01283 240 237.